Thank you, everyone. We'll now start with the Georgia press conference. I'm pleased to welcome Georgia coach Levan Maisashvili and captain Mikhail Nariashvili. We'll open the floor straight away for questions. Please raise your hand and a microphone will come your way. First question, please. Uh, Leon Mateshvili, Bilayuji. With your permission, I would like to ask the question about on our native languages. Okay. Absolutely. There's translation available for everybody else, so please go ahead. So a question to the coach: How do you uh, evaluate this uh, match today? Are you globally happy about uh, the the match today or your game? Well, obviously, I cannot be happy about uh, the final result today, but I'm really proud of my uh, team. They did uh, their best. They gave everything. It was not enough to win the, the match, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the first uh, half, we had to uh, change some players. There were many injuries in the second half uh, as well, by uh, two times. Uh, so that uh, had a huge impact on the second half. We, we paid the price. Hello, yes, it's a pity uh, to finish the match with with such a result. I have two questions. The, the two uh, half times were identical and were, it was the same uh, like the two former uh, matches um, with a difference of level from the first to the second half. It was the same in the last two matches but it was exactly the same today. And uh, why can we explain that? Look, the first half, tactically, it was pretty well uh, done. There were a couple of individual mistakes when we couldn't follow our tactic to go uh, straight forward and to kick the ball uh, out. And to put more pressure on the opponent. But every time we had this tactic, we had great results in the first half. Indeed, there were some mistakes and some individual mistakes. And regarding the second half, as I said, I think I, I answered this uh, question already, but we had two uh, injured, two injured players, so we had to replace them and to change them. So all these players who were, who were given the, uh, a lot of strength, so that's why we decided to uh, change them. And maybe it was a di um, it was a mistake when we uh, decided to kick the ball out directly. And we had uh, some opportunities, and every single opportunity the, the, the team chose to play and scrum, and this was not really successful, and I don't understand why, but uh, the try on the very first, on the very end of the first half, I could give us uh, some, uh, uh, could have given us some hope, but we missed that try, so when we win the game, for example, against Scotland with a six point of difference and the game uh, with Australia is difficult to, to watch, but I, I wouldn't say that the score difference is the reflection of the game. I think uh, we were unlucky today. I cannot I say that my players played bad today, on the contrary. We had an opportunity at the last minute of the uh, second half. Uh, what I wanted from my uh, men is that they, that they were able and capable to play during the whole 80 minutes. They were not able to play uh, to win the game today. I'm not happy about the final results, but that's the maximum we, we could do, unfortunately. So, 
The, the objective was to win the match and to show uh, the rugby world how the Georgian play. At least we could do that uh, for this game. Uh, not necessarily, we couldn't necessarily do that on the first, uh, the first two games, but I think the first two matches. But I think today we could, we could, we could at least, we could at least during the past two uh, matches score some tries. We could create ourselves uh, some occasions, and it's not the result we wanted today. But we show. We have shown the rugby we are capable to play. Maybe, well, obviously we uh, didn't have to finish with uh, such a score, but tactically I think we played pretty well. Uh, the, they tried to implement the objective, but uh, I'm going to say what I said already. We had some injuries. We missed some opportunities and we had some injured players in the second half. After the trial, when we were talking about the concussion uh, protocol, maybe we had to have a double look on that, but what, what, I, what I want to say is that we played well today. We, we fought hard against, well, against them during 80 minutes, but it was not enough to win the, to win the match. Okay, all good, thank you. Hi, Levin, how are you? Um, can I just ask you your not, emotions, not really? Not good. <laughs> can I just ask your emotions? Are, they sort of, are you very proud of the team, or, or is it disappointment with the result? And, and just how important was the, the try that was not given for the forward pass just before? Uh, thank you, Alex, for the question. Uh, you know, it's so disappointing when when you fighting 80 minutes and just the results not enough uh, for that and that fighting not enough for the result and I cannot talk about a uh, referee's decision and I cannot talk about uh, some missing our opportunities just nothing now nothing important the important is a scoreboard we lost that game but I am proud for my boys, for my players, because they sacrifice. Our message was just trust the system and sacrifice ourselves. Both was done, and when we're not talking about just uh, saving us, we no one was saving. Uh, just not players, absolutely no one. But we lost against the. Uh, Great team, congratulations Fiji, they qualified and Fiji isn't an average team, it's a definitely great team, but we played very hard, just it was not enough for us. Sorry, sorry just one minute. Mm. Michel Naria shows Kuntis Capitans Minda Dauswa, Maltitwa, Kuelam Daina Harom, Rogers Levan Mara, Tlaxena Kunti, Mantliana. I'd like to ask the question to Levan. Everybody said that the whole team played 100% and they did what they wanted to, to do, but uh, are you uh, proud of your teammates? And are you proud of the sacrifice that you did on the on the pitch? Uh, yes, obviously. Well, I'm not happy. I cannot be happy at the final result, obviously, because we we have lost that match. But I'm really proud of my team, of my teammates, of every single teammate in the team. This week was um, particularly uh, difficult, and I th I know we did our best and we gave everything on the pitch. I'm not uh, really agreeing with your colleague who said that we only played during one uh, half. If you said the minute 79, the, if you see the match against Fiji, if you, if you, see, uh, if you have seen many uh, rugby matches, you will be able to understand that. 
to play against Fiji and when you have an opportunity to score a try the minute 79 I'm talking about this very last minute of that uh, of that match I think the team really played uh, played the both team played at the very exact level the Fiji is a fantastic team they know they knew how to create some opportunities in the offensive level. Um, a question for Levan. Um, despite uh, the loss, uh, David Ninjashvili has been brilliant at kicking and with ball in hand. Uh, do you think he realized his best game in the World Cup 2023 so far? And did you expect him to be at this uh, level against Fiji? <sighs> David is a brilliant young player. He is only 21 years old. Sometimes we are forgetting about that. We are thinking he is like a 30 years old. But two years ago, when I when I put him against Ireland, the first team against first team against his first game. He played and performed performed very well. And after that, every game he is playing with heart, with big heart, and just everyone waiting from him. Just every game he has to score the tries. And he's a just 21 years old, great player. He had very difficult surgery. He missed approximately uh, just half of preparation for World Cup, but he's resilient and his work rate is awesome. And that's why, you know, just maybe he was not enough good, which we were uh, just expecting from him. But today he played very well. And I think he will play much better games. But a little bit disappointed because he he lost a lot of time about his surgery and yes, that that takes a time. But on Leon or get hostage on two shades level, be a little coin sax and it's a little bit of the trauma. Levan, I have two questions. You talked about the traumas and the injuries and the, what about uh, what about Jayani he, he, it looked uh, serious do you have any more information about his health and since 27 uh, World Cup in every single World Cup uh, you judge uh, usually win at least one match uh, for this edition it, uh, it, it looks bad it does, does this put you more under pressure well, Hassan, we still have one match to play. It's a bit early to talk about that. Obviously, we are going to do everything we can to win our last match. Uh, regarding the pressure, obviously, we can feel uh, this pressure on us. We are playing always under pressure. Uh, well, when we when we lost that uh, match against Portugal, was it was a draw, but it was uh, complicated, and we worked hard the whole week before. But today, when you watch that uh, that match, we couldn't. We were not feeling such a pressure. We had two injured um, players, which uh, which has been uh, replaced. So this pressure is nothing, absolutely nothing. Regarding the pressure we already uh, lived, if we can compare a performance in 2015 and 20, uh, in 2015 and 2007, we cannot uh, compare that uh, current team uh, with the former uh, World Cup editions. So every time uh, Georgia played to win a match with one objective being to win the match. So maybe we were not able to do so 
every time, but we aim the victory every time we are on the pitch. I'm going to repeat myself again, but to everybody who liked to watch our matches and to the one who are skeptical regarding our game, for us, we are already living under that kind of pressure. We are not going to create even more pressure on us. Levan, you talked about your tactics. I just want to talk about one single moment with the offensive, the, and there was a great offensive session, a great defense. There were some changes compared to the lineup. You talked about the third row as well. And what about our defense and our attack strategy? Well, it's difficult to play about positive things after uh, having lost a match, but we did make some uh, modifications. We can were able to play with two uh, uh, full backs. So we preferred to uh, put it more forward, is more aggressive during tackles and about tackles. We've seen that already. I think everybody saw that. We saw Madivaje who is not, who not, doesn't play in a world-class uh, club, but he's a great and fantastic player. He had uh, some opportunity with the ball in hand. I think this strategy paid. I think we could uh, play our game and every single time we could kick the ball out and put pressure under the Fijian players. Uh, maybe we didn't have enough energy to uh, fight until the end. There were objective and subjective moments, obviously. We were not capable to uh, implement our full uh, tactics. I think the yellow card was uh, an important moment uh, during the, this match uh, the, regarding the, the flankers and the uh, left wingers and right wingers. Uh, if I had uh, decided, maybe I would have done, if, if I had to decide, maybe uh, I would have chosen to kick the ball, but unfortunately we couldn't use that moment at a timely manner. Uh, but it's an uh, 80-minute uh, match, not 50 or 79. It's uh, about 80 minutes. <clears throat> so we cannot judge the winner, but I am always judged after every single loss.